The following is brought to you by PaulAkers.net. Hey, Lee Maniacs, Paul from rainy Mexico. I'm not kite surfing today, but I thought I would do a quick video. Joseph asked me to do one on the five whys. I don't know if I've ever done it. So here is the quick story you can share with your team. So you walk out to your front driveway, you look on the driveway and there's an oil stain there. And you say, why is that oil stain there? Because your car's leaking oil. Why is it leaking oil? Because the drain plug is not functioning well. Why is the drain plug not functioning well? Because the gasket on the drain plug is broken. It doesn't work well. Why is it broken? Because the material was not up to spec or it could not take the repeated loosening and tightening from doing the oil changes. So it fatigued and broke prematurely. Why did it break prematurely? Because the person who specced the material was instructed by management to save money and cut costs. So they looked for an alternate material that was less money. They didn't focus on quality, but they focused on cost. So the reason why that you have oil on your driveway is because management had the wrong KPI. They were focused on cost and not quality. That's why there's oil in your driveway. Now, the important thing about that story is this, is that most people would have solved that problem and just said, oh, replace the gasket. But that really is not the root issue. That's not upstream. That's solving the problem downstream. Until you solve the problem at the real source, way upstream, where you have the wrong thinking, then you're never gonna really solve the core problems and you're always gonna have all these trickling problems down below. Go upstream, that's what the five wise does. It forces you to go to the real problem. Brought to you by paulacres.net, where you'll find all Paul's books and lean resources for free, free, including the new two-second lean play app, like Audible, but free. To listen to Lean is Lean on the two-second lean play app at paulacres.net.